It has been 3,000 years since I have played Splatoon 3. Considering I've been putting a lot of my time into Splatoon 1, there's actually one thing in Splatoon 3 that has actually brought me back, which is, it's actually been a while since we had like a really interesting thingy. I'm calling it a thingy because I don't want to reveal that it is a really interesting challenge that's going to happen. Well, you guys probably already knew from the title and the thumbnail, but that doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and check out what this new challenge is all about. It is called the Curling Hurl. Toss out jumbo sized curling bombs in this frantic challenge. Make way for the giant curling bombs as they glide across the battlefield. You can only use weapons that come with the curling bomb sub weapon. Curling bombs will be enlarged. Curling bomb contact damage will be greatly increased for all players. Their explosion size will be greatly increased too. So from the sounds of it, Curling bombs are just so much larger than before. So I guess I'm going to have to use a weapon with curling bomb. You know what would be fun? I think this weapon would actually be really fun. Considering I haven't used the paintbrush so much, I feel like it would be a good time to actually use it for this video too. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get into it and let's see how these curling bombs are going to be because right now I see very small curling bomb and it's not really affecting much. So when we get into this battle, the curling bombs are gonna be huge. Curling hell, maintain the zone controllers. <laughs> There's a lot of end parries, all right. I could see end parries being a fairly popular weapon. Whoa, wait, hang on. <laughs> okay, essentially just a very, very big curling bomb. I wonder how that is like when it gets towards the zone. I kind of want to, I want to swim through it and just like take people out, swim closer to the people. Whoa. That curling bomb is crazy though. I'm not gonna get over that. Three, two, one. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh, okay, never mind. You got me. You know what's crazy? The size of this curling bomb really reminds me of my own actual curling bomb that I have in real life. Currently, it's under my bed, but it's it, I got it from Japan. Just looking at these curling bombs that are just going through kind of just reminds me of just like me throwing an actual curling bomb at my screen, and it's just like. Oh, okay, the explosion is really, really big. <laughs> But I find it pretty cool that they've done something with uh, this specific sub weapon. Because, like, can you imagine if they enlarge, like, the suction bombs? Like, I feel like they'll be, like, somewhat of a throwback to, like, the second final. Well, not the second. The final boss of the second game, Splatoon 2. What? Two and a half minutes to hold this zone for a little bit. Can we do it? I mean, I'm pretty sure we can. I just have to re really be careful of, like, the giant jumbo sized curling bombs that are just. Flailing across the screen. Let me actually try run someone over with a calling bomb. Actually, is that something that's possible? Because that just hit me and I was just like, okay, that took massive damage. Goodbye. I'm gonna throw that there. I gotta be so careful to get run over by a calling bomb. <laughs> this is our final chance. I'm gonna throw these calling bombs from up here. No. Oh, and then I got run over by calling bombs. This is so sad, no, dude. Okay, maybe I switch weapon from Paintbrush. We'll use a different one. Right, so I'm gonna change my weapon and I'm gonna use the N Perry Duelies this time. On board with the N Perry Duelies, it seems like a better weapon in terms of keeping yourself safe. Because if they're throwing a bunch of culling bombs, there's actually no other way to actually stop them other than using like triple splashdown or something. All right. Yeah, literally, if you use a, a, a triple splashdown, that's just literally gonna destroy the Calling bomb, so it's like the best way to keep myself safe because I felt like with uh, with paintbrush, there's no real way to actually keep yourself safe. And like, oh my god, that guy just got run over. There's like no real way to keep yourself safe, and on top of that, you're very, very slow, especially trying to like live these calling bombs. So it's just like, it just kind of wasn't the one. I'm going through, I'm going through. There we go, we got another. Our uh, calling bombs are going out. There is a screen, so I'm gonna just back up a little bit. I just can't throw him in there. Okay, well something did happen. Oh god, it's it's the it's the the thing I'm trying to be very careful about is that when two people throw two calling bones one next to each other because it's like a wave. I have to wait right here. What if I just? <laughs> I mean, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Can you imagine if Carling Bomb just did that as normal to a crab tank? I'm just gonna keep throwing Carling Bombs and see what happens after that. But it seems like we win her. All right. Right now, I'm convinced from the selection of weapons that we got, and Perry Dooley's is very, very good. Curling hurl, hurl the curling bombs and don't hurl. Oh my God! Double sploosh, double heavy splatling. The sploosh are going to play like rats. What if I did this? Okay, I learned something today. The more you learn, the more you learn. The play. Oh, am I dead? Nope. Curling bomb. Thank you very much. What if I roll that up there? Roll these in here. 
This guy is just having a time here. What the heck? Oh! Okay, cool. Oh, this time I'm gonna do it higher. This time I don't die. Alright, cool. Oh, hello. Thank you very much. What if I just keep rolling this? <laughs> oh god, that guy got rolled. Oh, okay. Well, they're getting rolled. Kind of everywhere. They're getting a little bit harder to, like, live. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I actually just looked down thinking that the map was going to be there because I've been playing so much Splatoon 1. I just realized there was no map. And I felt silly afterwards, so. Okay, I just got vaporized. I looked down again. I'm actually looking down just like, all right, where's the map? But all right, that wasn't even the worst game. All in all, it was actually a pretty good game. Okay, so we're on Wahoo World this time. I kind of want to play the right side. Something is like telling me, go to the right. I, I don't know what is telling me to go to the right, but I feel like I need to go to the right just to throw calling bombs. Instead of them expecting them to come from the front, now they have to expect calling bombs coming from the side, you know? It was one of those kinds of feelings. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could Killed him off the swan. Take this! Dang, I missed. But what about this? Oh, I got run over, dude. Whoa. Okay, well, one of them died from my splash, tri my triple splash down. Oh, I just got another one. And then I got run over. Okay. <laughs> there is a guy here. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. And this is not Splatoon 1. I would have seen the jump. I definitely would have seen the jump, but it's all good. Well, that was enough. Nice. Now do. I feel like the goal, if we could center a good majority of our calling bombs in one particular area, you know. If we did that a little bit more, I think that would be the play. This is good. But, oh, I actually broke that bubble too, dude. So it seems like we return back to hump back pump track. Wait, what am I saying? It seems like we return back to Hammerhead Bridge. Yeah, it was that one. Oh, unlucky. Oh, but I got the run over. And I'm pretty sure it was the one on our side, so. What if I just triple splash on this guy now? <laughs> lucky for that guy, dude. All right. Well, that's just another game. Wahoo World. I believe this is going to be the last game. We are three Empire Duelies, so... Honestly, we just use our triple splash down whenever we want and we basically win. Splash down this guy, you just kind of die because I have triple splash down. Just gotta use it really selfishly here. But yeah, I mean, honestly, this is basically the challenge. The challenge is basically, if you throw a bunch of calling bombs, you might get fortunate where you hit someone, you might not. But all in all, it's just kind of a, just another mess around challenge where it's just like you just throw, well not throw, but like you just throw a bunch of curling bombs. I can only imagine they do this with other sub weapons. Like I don't know if they do it with like massive auto bombs. You know, honestly, massive auto bombs would be actually be so funny. It'd be like a attack of the, the killer chickens or something. It's kind of like mechs, you know, like you have the auto bomb mechs just like running around, kind of running things. And they're just literally chasing around people, so, you know. If you're gonna do this curling bombs, hey, do it with auto bomb because auto bomb is a good idea as well. It's a selfish splash down. Might actually get one. There you go. A little selfish splash down. Another guy not here. Well, there is a guy there, but oh, okay, they're dying. Yeah, man, give me the, the large auto bombs. The large chicken auto bombs. That's, I think that's what we need to see. If you think that's what we need to see, make sure to leave it in the comments below. And also, I guess, leave some other suggestions of like big sub weapons you think that we need. Because clearly, the chickens seem like the best idea, if, in my humble opinion, I don't know. Also, we're like not winning right now. There we go, there's another selfish one. Very, very selfish. Can't believe he would, he would use that all for himself. Selfish! Oh, I can't believe that I actually killed. Ah, you know what, actually, yeah, I can. Oh, I didn't even need to do that. I keep looking- I look down again, dude. <laughs> I keep looking down, you know, guys, it's, it's actually terrible. I don't know how I'm going to be able to play this game again, you know? If I'm playing Splatoon 1 and this game, uh, like, as often as each other, then going back to this game is always going to be very hard. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Oh. I'm alive. I can't believe that's a trade, though. Go, 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 go! They never saw this coming. And we're slaying them. Slay! Ah! Uh. Boom! That didn't do anything. Okay, it was a little late, but it, we got one at least. All right, I was about to say like, where did my, where did my kill go? Because <laughs> I definitely triple splashed down like right next to a guy, and like, 
And close enough, so. But either way, that flank, very, very huge from that guy. And it gave us a good jump. Yeah, honestly, that is going to be it. I feel like it's time to now move on, all right? We tried the paintbrush one time, and that didn't feel the greatest, but either way, here we are. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you ha played this one, let me know about it, and if you thought it was fun, leave it in the comments below. Um, but would I? do I think this one was fun? I think there's better challenges, to be honest. I just think an Autobahn one would be more fun. I'm, I'm, say I'm saying it over and over again, but... All of them one would be, in my opinion, really, really fun to do. So, either way, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I shall see you guys in a future video.